Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer for four So today guys, I want to talk to you guys about Joshua Kimmich to Barcelona So there's been a lot of rumors going around the campfire that Joshua Kimmich will go to Barcelona now before I even talk about this Let me make things clear that I don't see this happening. I don't think Byron is willing to sell us Joshua Kimmich. I mean, we just got Lewandowski from them last summer Do you really think Byron's gonna sell their another one of their best players to us again? And even if we even if they're willing to sell we're going to have to spend a ridiculous amount of money. Now, that being said, I'm not quite sure in the contract situation. So, Byron fans, please let me know in the comments. You know, I'm looking at Polomo in particular. <laughs> My good Byron friend. Uh, because I did see when I was looking up his contract expiration. I did see um, on one football it says 2023. And then the Byron website says 2025. So, I need someone to inform me what the correct year is. Because that's a bit uh, confusing to me, at least. Um, putting that to a side, though. This would be amazing. If Barca can lance Joshua Kimmage, that would be amazing. Fixes up her CDM position. Because like I said, Busquets is gone. We're going to have to play a CDM next season. And assuming that, let's hypothetically say we don't sign anyone. Our CDM next season will therefore have to be Frankie de Jong. And we know Frankie de Jong is not a CDM. We all know that already. That Frankie de Jong is just not a CDM. So, you know, we could also, I guess, suppose play Kessie, but that's the same thing. He's not really CDM and a single pivot. I think Kessie is probably better as a um, DM and a double pivot, you know, and that would probably be the same with De Jong as well. I just don't think the two can work together in a single DM position, you know, single pivot. I think they're much better suited as a double pivot rather than a single. So, like I said, Joshua Kimmich, he would fit in very nicely. He would fit into this kind of brand that we're trying to play, Tiki Taka. And obviously, you know, under Pep Guardiola, he developed he refined his game and we know pep is regarded as one of the best coaches of all time and another amazing thing with this is that we could also play by right back let's say for instance we already got a dm this summer we can get him a right back because dude i'll be real with you guys our right back option is is really bad i mean we have jules kunde we got roberto i mean it, it, it's just terrible <laughs> you know i respect kunde but let's be real kunde is not really that great as a right back we need him to be playing at the center back position you know and obviously, Roberto, the less said, the better, you know. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how Barcelona pans out this, you know. Can we get this deal over the line? Because if we could get this deal over the line, guys, this will be amazing. And you add an Ilkay Gundogan this summer, who is very likely to join. I mean, he's coming on a free. That could be amazing. Barca's midfield could look very, very good next season, you know. But my, like I said, man, my only concern is that how much are we going to prioritize this? Are we going to prioritize Lionel Messi or Joshua Kimmich? Because let's be real, guys. Most... The, the most nostalgia-wise, you would obviously prioritize Messi, emotionally, sentimentally. But if you have a, logically speaking, I think Kimmich makes more sense than Messi because Kimmich is going to be here for a lot more years, whereas Messi is going to be here for a few more years. So like I said, it's going to be very interesting. I hope you guys did enjoy this little quick video. Like I said, guys, just been busy these last couple of days on um, everything. There will be a stream later tonight at around 5 p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to celebrate La Liga by, you know, doing the season review you know the um, player ratings and all that good stuff so i hope you guys can join me for that stream it'll be it should be very very interesting to see what happens there uh but anyways i like i said i hope you guys did enjoy remember guys to like this video and make it if you made it this far consider subscribing as well kind of your thoughts comment section below and like i said let me know if you guys think this could, this would be a very good deal because for me if joshua kimmer joins barcelona that would be an amazing amazing transfer possibly one of the best transfers barca's made in the last few years so, like I said, though, I still don't think it's going to happen. I, I don't think it's going to happen. But who knows? I've been wrong with many things in the past. All right, so you guys later, man. Peace out.